Well, hello and welcome to Retro Talk. Today, I am absolutely thrilled to be joined by Rudolf Stussy. Rudolf served as the ARC director at Nirvana, working on some really big shows, including <laughs> Little Bear, the airing on CBS, Nick Jr., Playhouse Disney's Rolly Polioli, Max and Ruby, Heidi, the feature film. Rudolph is joining us from Germany. So Rudolf, uh, danke schön. Thank you for your time today. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's, nah, it's a huge, it's a huge thrill just getting to, getting to know the background of these shows and your time working on them. Mm -hmm. So, tell us who is Rudolph Stussy? What is what is your what is your background, and how did you find yourself <laughs> at a at a studio like Nirvana? Okay, it's very complicated. Okay, I mean, I'm originally Swiss. I was born there and spent the first few years of my life in Switzerland, and then we moved for ten years to the states. So I spent time in Kansas and I spent time in Gross Point, Michigan. Uh, and then I moved back, we moved back to Switzerland where I did uh, my high school, the rest of my high school. And then I wanted to come back to North America. So I had relatives in Canada. So I went to Canada and I liked it in Canada. And I stayed, I did university there. Then I did art school. Um, and finally, um, I also got married there. And then we had some kids. And finally, we decided we, we needed to have a house. And I had been teaching sort of part time and stuff like that. But that really wasn't enough to buy a house. A bank wasn't willing to give us a credit. So I went looking for a job. And I had a number of friends who had been at art school, who were a number of which were working at Nilvana at the time. And so I went there looking for a job. And they gave me one. So I, I worked on things like Care Bears and uh, a couple of other shows as well. And uh, before we, I worked my way up sort of into art direction. I was doing backgrounds mostly. Got it. And Novana was a quite a has a big catalog. You know, touching on some really big shows. What was it like, just in terms of the atmosphere, kind of working there? It was a great atmosphere. Actually, there were a lot of people that I got to know very well and who turned into very good friends. And uh, it was very creative atmosphere, I think. I think the th nice thing about Nelvana was that it was willing to take risks and do things that other studios wouldn't. Uh, they did Beetlejuice, for instance, as well, which I really liked working on. It was quite creative. Um, and the three owners of Nelvana, one of one of whom uh, was sort of the artistic uh, creative guy, Clive Smith. I got to know him very well and we got him very well. And so we, every time I used to sometimes quit Nelvana and go off and do something else, go and do my artwork in Europe and stuff like that. And then I'd come back and he would give me a job again. So <laughs> we had That's a good nice. relation. Nice to you have know? that. Yeah. 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 Super. And I enjoyed working with some of the people we worked with. Yes, I did work with Morris Sendak. Um, uh, we got on very well. We, I went down to visit him at his studio in Connecticut. And uh, yeah, that was super. We worked well, well together on Little Bear. William Joyce, too, uh, with Roly Polioli. Um, I went down to Louisiana, to Shreveport, and uh, spent a few, uh, like four days with him working on stuff for the show. Enjoyed going there too, of course. And he had a lovely uh, sort of mansion in Shreveport. And I met his wife and his children. And it was so sad to hear later that um, his wife had died and his daughter as well. That was a, a real tragedy. He was a great guy and he was incredibly busy. He had so many projects on the go, but uh, we did very well with that. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome to hear that there was, it felt very big and small probably at the same time. Right. They had well, the that's, community. In a way that's right. And I mean, the, the, the place, the workplace too was quite informal. It was, I guess what you, you know, what you'd expect of a, a very modern company really. Right. And uh, yeah. Everybody had their sort of individuality too, right. which That's was important. Great. Yeah. So, for those of us maybe uninitiated, can you talk talk to us about what the day to day of an art director kind of looked like? Um, you know, obviously you had a team, but really, what what did it um, 
Well, for me, it depends. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends what we were working with. I mean, in some cases, we worked with original books. For instance, with Morris Sendak, he had a Little Bear book series, and we took our cue from that. And there would be a storyboard artist who would um, sort of lay out, there would be a, someone who had a text and a storyboard artist who would visualize that. And then we would take those visualizations and turn them into backgrounds. And it was in the day of 2D. So each background had to be painted. And we did that um, in a traditional way. Um, I even have something here I can show you. This is, it's a painting on a board, right? And you stretch right. the paper and you paint it. Then you cut it out, cut it off the board and photograph it. And that was how we did uh, the animation then. And then there would be animation artists who would create the, who would create the characters and paint them on cell. And they would be put over the backgrounds and then they had to photograph them like 24 uh, for each second, 24 different poses. Maybe they didn't do that many. Maybe they just did half that or 18 or right. it depends what, what the quality is going to be like. And we eventually got to. And uh, so uh, with Max and Ruby, for instance, I did that. And I even started learning uh, 3D computer animation. Um, that was at the sort of around 2000, the year 2000. Interesting thing, too, is I have my oldest son now. Uh, works in computer animation oh, wow. on Does major it? Hollywood blockbusters in That's Vancouver. Amazing. He works on things like, uh, what was it, Fifth Wave and uh, Batman and whatever else. Yeah. That's got to feel good. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's great. And he's enjoying it very much. Yeah. yeah. That's a good segue because I do want to talk. So 1998, um, Roly Polioli was one of the f very early CGI shows, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. do you know, can you speak to any of the history that, that they decided to go from tra traditional, like, okay, we're going to go full CG for, for this particular show? Well, it was kind of funny because I was the art director for that. And I can't, I guess it was made, the decision was made by Clive Smith, uh, to do that, to try that. That's as I was saying, innovative approach. Mm -hmm. Um, mind you, I was still a traditional background painter. So um, I did the keys uh, for uh, animation artists who could do it on computer, uh, but I did the traditional backgrounds as keys for them to to try to copy in computer format. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. got it. And were there any production like from traditional production? Usually, two D animation could take months for eleven those eleven minute yeah. segments. Was it still that did that time frame still was it much longer being so early or was it did we did it was it pretty close to traditional animation? Well, it was different, of course. The one thing is the big difference was that with computer animation, it took a long time to build up the initial set, sort of. Um, but then you could do from that, you could create almost any backgrounds, any angles, any lighting you wanted. And very quickly, uh, with traditional backgrounds, you had to paint a new background. Quite simply, if you wanted different right. lighting on it, right? Um, so that that was more work in the long run. But in the short run, as I say, the the initial setup for the computer animation was also tricky, and took time. Oh, that's that is amazing. Yeah, just the, the yeah the the contrast that was of colors used, was, that was great. Anyway, that's but that's as I say, that's the traditional. That's the key, and right. they would then do a computer version of that. So, contrastly, when I was talk about Little Bear for a second, because yeah. it was very differently creative and shot with a lot of detail. Um, what was it like working on that particular show? Um, well, we took the we took the here's one. Oh, love that! That looks great. That's a background, original background from Little Bear. Well, Little Bear was a lovely show to work on, and we it was um, very much based on Morris Sendak's books, the style too, 
And that was one thing that was always interesting in animation is that with each project, you sort of had to develop a new style, a different style. And, you know, it kept you busy, it kept you active and right. thinking. And I think that was quite good. Um, and so we tried to do it in more Sendak style. And I think we were quite successful with that, I'm happy to say. And it and, seemed it, it did very well, too. Yeah. And Morris, he was pretty somewhat involved in the show, right? Oh, um, yes. Being on, yes, on production. Was. and Yeah. He came up to yeah. Toronto several times, and uh, as I said, we went down to Connecticut too to see him and uh, talk with him. And of course, he he could review all the artwork, right? Um, and um, he did that, and you know, was quite happy with what we were doing. So, yeah. And I do want to talk about the tonality of uh, animation for a second. I want to get your kind of uh, okay. your thoughts on this, but both of these shows had a very and I'm think I'm sure listeners of this will probably um, kind of go to this as well. But they had a very calming, almost therapeutic element to both mm -hmm. shows and tone to them. How do you think that has kind of? And this is a deeper question that I maybe prepped you for. How do you think that's kind of evolved in animation today, for versus what is kind of delivered? Well, I mean, I have to say, most of the time, um, I'm quite horrified by the animation today. I think it's very, very basic, very cheap. Um, not much care is taken. Um, it tends to be cruder. Um, and yes, a bit more um, action geared, you know? And I don't know, I mean, it depends, I think, what age group you're, you're aiming at. And I think it's, you know, for the younger kids, it's not so good what's happening today. No, I don't think so. I mean, those Little Bear and, and Roly Poly Oli were, were very friendly, kid-friendly shows, you know, and I think that's important. Tell us a little bit about what, what it is you're doing today, you know, what projects are you working <laughs> on? What are you excited about? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Well, I mean, the thing is, I've, uh, I've been now working as an artist for, you know, well, for a long time, for 50 years, actually, <laughs> off and on, also in my animation times. Um, and I've focused on that now the last 10, 15 years. Uh, that's been my focus. I also taught a lot. I, I taught at the Ontario College of Art and Design, which was the, one of the best art schools in Canada. And uh, I also taught at, um, I taught in Europe as well. And I uh, also uh, directed a, an art school in Toronto for three years. Um, so that kept me busy too, of course. Uh, and then I finally uh, decided I was just going to do art and just exhibit uh, here in Berlin, in Switzerland and in Canada. And I still do that. Uh, I had a book come out last year, or actually now it's two years ago, on my Swiss paintings, which came out in Switzerland. And this year I'm actually uh, publishing a book on Berlin. Oh, and that, wonderful. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> That's quite yeah, a bit of a treat. Yes. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to that, especially, of course. Only uh, how many? Uh, 700 pages, you know, how many? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be over 100 um, okay. pictures and some stories, too, about uh, my experiences here. Great. OK. Which are awesome. Kind of, you know, different. Well, Rudolph, thank you. Thank you so much for your time today and answering all these questions. I know from all of us, thank you for all the work you did on these incredible shows. Um, really uh, can't say enough about how much we go back and watch them and the backgrounds, all the work done. Just amazing. Thank you so much. Well, of course, I'm happy to hear that. Um, thank you for having me and talking, being able to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Landon.